What was the most difficult thing about Bake Off? What was the hardest ah. thing to do? The hardest thing about Bake Off, uh, I think, is receiving the, the uh, critiques from mm. the judges, but also the technicals as well. I struggled quite a few weeks with the right. technicals, like, going into it. I just... There's something about having something that you've practised and then you bring in. I mean, not, not that you bring in. <laughs> you know what I to do? Here's one I made earlier. It's so clever the way they do it, that you're kind of on the edge of your seat over a cake. I mean, if you start thinking about it, but it's just so, so well done. And I think because you guys are so invested, you know, you're so sort of excited about it and nervous and, like I said, with you putting all your passion into it too. Yeah, I think yeah. all of us do, like all of us. I think that's also the thing about Bake Off is that we all love baking, so even mm. though everybody on it is so different, you all get on so well because you can share baking tips and chat about baking and, and you, just, you have something in common. No, absolutely, <laughs> and like you said, you've learned a lot. You've learned an awful, awful lot. Yeah. It's the University of Baking. I think we yeah. are sold. I mean, there is food porn, they call it, which is, mm -hmm. you know, all of these lovely, uh, glossy, glamorous food shows that we see. And again, that's a... They're sending it a weird message, some of them. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? So that happens on one side, you know, this kind of aspirational food yeah. and kind of swanning around your beautiful kitchen making beautiful feasts. Mm. And on the other side of things, there's this real devaluing of any food that doesn't fit that model. So I, I actually, some people quite recently were being really dismissive about ready meals. Yeah. Which actually, like, the way that so many people sustain themselves mm. and get a hot meal in at the end of the day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's important not to kind of succumb to that snobbery. Yeah, and don't, because sometimes, sometimes you know, I love takeaways. I love yes. curries, I love pizzas. You know, now and again, a hamburger's all right. Yeah. It's OK. Yes. But we beat ourselves up about it and say, oh, no, 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 I can't possibly have that. My body's a temple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And do you know, when you do that, you make your body like a constant work in progress. Mm. It'll never be finished. Mm -hmm. It'll never be perfect. Um, which is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. What sort of reaction have you had to this so far? It's been really, really yeah. lovely. I'm not really surprised. Lovely. I've been so delighted because Actually, some of the people we've got in contact have been people who had eating disorders or even if they've not had eating disorders, just people who were so anxious about food and so stressed yeah. about what they should and shouldn't be eating. And they've said they've been, they've been feeling more bolstered to just follow their appetite and sure. eat what makes them feel good. So much has happened since this time last year on the Bake Off. And how do you reflect now on your whole experience on one of the biggest shows on the telly? It's, it's so good that I did it. It's like the best thing I've ever done. I feel... Just proud of myself for having done it and now I've done a book and it's got my face in exactly. it. Exactly. So. <laughs> Lots, a lot happens in that time. We, we talk about the new series, it starts next Tuesday of course. Um, what advice would you give that new batch mm. of contestants? So I remember when I went on and people would say to me, just be yourself. Yeah. And I don't know if that's really good. <laughs> because I'm like, I am myself, how do I be myself? Am I not being myself? So I don't know and then people say enjoy yourself as well which is also quite it can be difficult when you're under pressure, of course. Yeah, because then you're like feeling a little bit stressed and you're thinking, oh, I need to enjoy myself. And you feel vulnerable, don't you? You know, all you eyes are yeah. on you and yeah, yeah. Definitely. You feel the pressure. Like, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> so I know how... Not just because of Paul, though, no. because it, it was the emotion of it all, but yeah. I, I think I would find him quite scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mean, yeah, what is he like? It's, I mean, he's judging you on something that you're so passionate about. You know, I love baking, all the bakers love baking, and you just want to do really well. And it's kind of what he's got to do, he's got to give the judgment. But it, it's quite intimidating when he's coming over. But I think it's, I mean, the fact that people have cried, it's just, it's, it's, I think it's a sign of strength, mm -hmm. not actually of weakness. I think it's sometimes shown as a weakness, but actually that's people putting themselves in a place where they're feeling really vulnerable. Yeah. And to actually put themselves into that situation where they think, oh, I might cry, if I get a bad comment or something, that's amazing. Huge affection for you, because obviously we really felt as if we got to know you during yeah. the Bake Off, and, and, and you were so emotional, and you were so kind of, um, there was nothing hidden there. There you were, yeah. that was you. The kind of reaction you get when you're out and about must be sometimes quite overwhelming. It is, um, it's, it's really odd, because when I'm, I, I kind of almost, people come up to me and say, oh my goodness, and come and give me a hug. And I'm like, do I, where do I know you from? And then I realise, oh, I get it. But you can't really, you know, they're like, they don't want to say it and I don't want to say it. So we have these really weird coy moments. But 
you know, I can't believe it's three years. Can I you can't believe? Either. It's crazy. It's three years, and I'm still here. And it's yeah, just yeah, no, yeah. nobody's worked out that I'm not supposed to be here. So I'm still <laughs> no, doing you it. Are for you. I've got that terrible thing as well. You think somebody's going to tap you on the shoulder and say, "We found you out. Yeah. You'll have to leave now." Well, just... when, I, when I won Bake Off, I handed the trophy back to Paul and I said, "Are you sure you've made? Are you sure you haven't made a mistake? Like, if he turned up now and tried to take my trophy, he's not having no it. Way. No way. No, absolutely not no way. It. You've also been really open about things like. And it's, something that so many people suffer with, like you get anxious and you get worried and you, you've got your ways of dealing with that. But I think people looking at you from the outside, looking in, we think, how can she be, an you know, how can she be anxious? But it can happen to absolutely anybody, can't Yeah, it? I think that's the biggest problem really with can. mental health disorders and uh, panic attacks, panic disorder, is that you become really good at faking it. You become yeah. really good at lying and uh, essentially and and i think that's and, and being a parent makes you really good at that because you want to be strong for your kids and yeah. like like 90 percent of being a parent is not telling the truth and they don't know that yet <laughs> it's like i'm forever making out like i'm i've got it all together yeah, yeah. and i know exactly what i'm doing and the truth is i haven't got a clue what i'm doing well sophie faldo joins me now congratulations thank you very much so good to see you and is that the actual trophy this is it yeah da, 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 da. <laughs> oh that's great where are you going to keep it uh it just goes on the shelf at home of course stands. and then yeah. you just kind of casually go oh look <laughs> Look here, with the lights on it. <laughs> oh, it's great. How are you feeling about the whole thing? It's It's been quite surreal. Um, yeah. It has been a bit strange, so I'm just kind of just dealing with everything as it, as it comes along and just trying to, try to enjoy it as oh, much as I can. fantastic. You have brought me a Dundee cake. I have, yes. And you have iced it <laughs> with tartan, tartan icing. <laughs> that is the best cake I've ever seen. <laughs> the thing about your creations, though, they're too beautiful to eat. Oh, no, not You don't at want all. to eat them, Sophie. You don't want to eat them. They're too it's good. It's a bit wonky, actually. Oh, no, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm honoured, absolutely. Very the thing was, an awful lot of us knew that you'd won because of the unfortunate tweet. Yes. And you spotted yes. it right away. Didn't I did. You? So I think it had been up about 42 seconds, in fact, <laughs> I remember. Um, and I spotted it and I just sort of had to read it a few times and go, that is what I think it is. Yes. And, and I quickly ran. Um, uh, Prue's assistants and um, and they got it down. But and I, I, it didn't make any difference to me because it well, you just knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just meant you know people knew a little bit bit earlier, but obviously sure. it didn't change the outcome. And um, and actually most people were really good. A lot of the news agencies were good at just sort of we, we know, but we're not going to tell but you. But we which, do, of course, of course, of course. Bake off, of course. Congratulations on Bake Off. Thank you. Because you know you know what the Brits are like, and everybody folded their arms, went, oh it'll never work, oh, yeah. it'll never work, and of course it has. And there's the team. But it's another, oh, my lovely There's the people. Team. <laughs> Prue, isn't Prue fabulous? Yeah, she's, she's great. She's an amazing woman. They're all, they're all really good. You know, but it's works. another example of when we, we just need stuff that makes us feel better. Yep. And I think, uh, my, as you know, my wife is a therapist. She says this show is not really about baking. No, it's not. <laughs> it's really about it's not. aspiration, about, yeah. about encouraging people, about being on somebody's side. Mm. Uh, you want them to do well. That's the thing about it. There's a lot of things that you watch where you think, ha ha ha, this one's, you know, yeah. a wee bit like I'm a celeb sometimes. You, you're not, you yeah. know, if you don't like the person and all of that. With Bake Off, it's all about please do it, please do it, please do it. We're there willing them to. Yeah, and succeed. somebody said to me the other day, I said, Oh, I've been watching you crying. Is this a new thing? And I thought, No, it's just you've never seen it before. And yeah. I get so involved. Oh, absolutely. Because a 20 minute bake on television, mm. we may have been there for five hours with all of the dramas going on and Jeez. um you know every single we do each show takes two days and each day is 12 hours long so we really do get to know the oh, people completely absolutely and of course you get invested why wouldn't yeah. you yeah. why wouldn't you do you eat everything because i would no i don't really you don't. don't you don't like cake i don't like cake. do you know maybe that's a good thing though Sandy? yeah i yeah maybe that's best <laughs> but you know me as well i've got my head in a book somewhere if yeah. i've got a choice if i've got any time off I'm, I'm going to be reading. I'm not going to be eating cake. Now, we miss you in the Bake Off. We do. Do you oh. still see everybody? Are you still sort of in touch? Because yes. Mary's like, she was like your mum. Do you know, mom? she came to the show last night. Fantastic. She came to Kingston to see Much Ado last That's night. Good. And it was absolutely... I did catch her eye in one of the scenes, which was a little bit alarming. Yes. She was giving me the old berry... Beacons. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're 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 in. We're oh, that's in great. Touch, that's really good. Lovely. That that speaks volumes for yes. that that relationship that you all got on so incredibly oh, yeah. well. And Paul texted me out of the blue three days ago, which was that's, really that's, that's nice good. to good. say good luck for the play. So. Yeah, no, it's powerful. very, it's yeah. very, very, very important. And Sue Perkins, I can't seem to get rid of Lorraine. No, I know. I'm trying. <laughs> you know that. I've been on this therapy sofa many times before to discuss that relationship. No, <laughs> she is. She's family. You have got an, an amazing relationship, you two, and you've got oh. that sort of... I mean, I remember that when I did the, you know, we did the Generation Game and I was yes. watching the two of you, and you've got a shorthand that's... You know what she's going to say before totally. she says it, yeah. and vice versa. Yes, it's worrying. It is a bit worrying. It's good. No, she's a cracking good egg, and I love her.
to bits. So I feel very lucky to yeah. have a lovely friend like that. It's good. Oh, yeah, she's so loyal, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Whatever situation you're in, she is right there.